Hello and welcome to Avorion. My name is Rudy and I'm just flying around this gigantic egg looking thing. So I'm I'm I feel I'm feeling the need to greatly expand out my ship. And so we need to travel north to sort of meet up with this, you know, quest thing. The enemy of my enemy is my friend to get, I guess, revenge against Botan the smuggler. So but first I want to get a bunch of resources to expand out my ship. So we're gonna try and do that, and I'm gonna highlight all the interesting things that I find today. Okay guys, well it wasn't long for me to find something interesting. Here we have a energy research satellite from the MAD Science Association, uh, as in MAD. So we got some MAD scientists here. There's a gigantic Xanian asteroid which we will be harvesting, so hopefully no, uh, you know, BS aliens attack the sector while I'm here trying to do that. So I'm gonna see what this, uh, this scientist is all about. Though a good question is, can I actually even interact with this? They're neutral. I, I know these mad scientists have something to do with the main plotline, but I'm not sure what... Um, I don't know, this might be important. Maybe I'll need to come back here at some point, but I guess right now there's nothing for me to do here. Except for mine that gigantic 85,000 Xanian asteroid. So we're going to dispatch the... Going to dispatch the, min the, the miners, and for some reason they're coming out of the back of my ship even though I got these really cool hangar bays on the front oh we just picked up a short burst of subspace signals what the hell well we got so we better get to this mining I'll just let those guys mine I'll be here we should probably warm up the engines for a quick escape the subspace signals are getting too strong for my scanners. I better brace myself. All right, I think we're gonna have to make a quick exit as soon as those uh, whatevers arrive. Much to my disgust. A large fleet of alien ships have appeared. Ho ho ho, that is a giant fleet and they don't like me. All right guys, we gotta get out of here quick. Return to the ship. You will be left behind if you do not return to the ship. And we are out of here! Oh, check this out. Uh, there, there's a, a salesman here. Let me interact with them. Where is your home sector? Give me all your cargo. Dump your cargo or you'll be destroyed! Please don't shoot us, we'll dump our cargo, but leave us alone. If you cooperate, I might spare your lives. Excellent. Okay, we've done our first bit of piracy. And we didn't even have to fire a shot. Let's pick up this cargo, we can sell this cargo. Oh, I need to adjust my pickup setting so I can pick up stolen cargo. So we, we want to pick up stolen cargo. And we should have... I'm not sure how much room we have exactly, because the cocoa is taking up a lot of room. Maybe we'll have to dump the cocoa. Ooh, stolen satellites. I think... These must be worth a fortune. Alright, we gotta, we gotta like fly over here, dump the cocoa. Okay, now we can get our satellites. <laughs> this is exciting. Okay, I do, I do not believe I can pick up any more. I got 33 times 15 each. If I had more cargo space... Do I want to add on more cargo space is the question. Because uh, I had some plans and, you know, I don't know how the cargo hold would fit into that. Um, hmm, this is a, a tough call. Yeah, I think we can add in some cargo space. Why not? Let's add in some nice trinium cargo hold. I think what we can do is we can go onto our uh, our whole x-axis mirroring and maybe we can just put on some cargo space right along the side of the ship. Like this is, oh man, this would add 228 cargo space. This would give us 118. 
So 150 would let us pick up, I guess, 10 more satellites. I think we can select this cargo hold, copy it, paste it, and put another, extend it down here. And I can already feel the maneuverability of this thing just completely tanking. I guess we can go get our cocoa. Maybe we can pick up some more cocoa. I mean, the crew loves cocoa. A wild cocoa swarm. Okay, and uh... Oh, this is a different cargo hauler. Give me all of your cargo. You should leave. Dump your cargo. I will not give my cargo freely to a pirate. So be it. Maybe we should, like, take out their engines or something? Is that what we need to do? Are they gonna jump away? They're gonna try and jump away? I mean, this is uh, by far not an unarmed ship. Okay, we got their shields down. Take out their engines. Well, I had no idea this day was going to result in so much piracy. I've been wanting to do piracy for quite a while, and I'm glad that this is that day. And I guess they're carrying acid? Well, this is great, you know, like, I, I can't beat a real fight against aliens or pirates, so I'm just preying on barely defense, you know, basically completely defenseless cargo ships. That just makes me feel really great about myself that I'm preying on these tiny ships. But hey, look at this ship, they got these big lasers, so it's not like they're completely defenseless. Oh, they jumped. Great. So I wonder if, if I'd spent more effort taking out their uh, energy generation, if maybe that would have prevented a jump. We've had one great pirating success and one not so great pirating success. Uh, and we also have a terrible looking ship now. We need to definitely do something about that. We're going to color the cargo bays. Let's color them yellow. Maybe. Oh, pirates are attacking the sector. That is wonderful. Let's shrink that up and let's uh, expand that out. So that's uh, a bit better. And we should put some thrusters on here. Well, first of all, we need to actually combine those blocks. It's going to increase our cargo space, I believe. And it looks like merging is not reflected. I think if we color the cargo holds a different... We need to make them like a... A rust... Oh yeah, that is a beautiful color. The infinity dark orange. And I'm going to keep the girder pieces yellow. Okay, so we're going to add on some more shield generators, because that is clearly what we need. Uh, we have some Xanian. I don't know, I kind of want to save my Xanian. I don't want to spend too much Xanian because uh, if I need to make repairs, I won't have the Xanian to make those repairs. So let's add some Trinium shield generators onto here. So let's go into match block mode. And let's just fit them into these areas. Alright, I kind of like the way this is looking. And so maybe we can also put some shield generators in here between these girder pieces. I think that fits. Okay, I think we're onto something here. Uh, what we're going to do, we're actually going to delete this thruster here. And then we're going to add in some more girder pieces. So this can be batch block mode. We're going to extend that. Let's put that there, but put it there. And then we will, oh yes, this is, this is fitting perfectly. And oh look, a mobile turret merchant has arrived. This is just my day. Oh uh, yeah, see the uh, the cargo container is just a bit too short, so it doesn't fit perfectly. Well, maybe uh, actually I can decrease the uh, scale step to 
0.25, and maybe that should help me out. Let's get in nice and close here. Alright, that is not helping me. Let's put the scale step all the way down. Is it not scale step? Do I need to decrease grid size? Okay, perfect. Of course, I, I took off that, uh, those thrusters, so now my brake thrust is a bit poorer, but oh well. We're a cargo ship. We are a military ship that has been co-opted for civilian use, so it's having significant modifications that compromise its combat capabilities. Let's talk to this m mobile turret merchant, who probably hates me. This is the, the Bokvalar conglomerate, and I've been doing piracy, as we know. Come back when your relations to our faction are better. Oh, so maybe this is not my day. You're not allowed to do business with me? You're not allowed to do business with me? We're going to turn you into salvage. Ho ho! Okay, so we have a... Yeah, they're just titanium, whatever. I don't need to stick around to harvest titanium. And I'm back at the smuggler hideout. Or a smuggler hideout that's apparently being attacked by aliens. Yeah, I remember these were the aliens I left behind on a previous episode. And they're, of course, still here because... You know, it's like in real life, when you are not in a certain place, it ceases to exist. I'm going to just jump to a different smuggler hideout. Okay, I just got another smuggler mission. I can't imagine this would end in the same way as the previous one, I hope. Alright. But we... it's the life of a pirate. I would like to sell my... satellites, please. Ah, uh, yes, sell stolen goods, so... I can unbrand them, or I could just sell them. So if I sold 10, so I'm, am I going to get 14,000 per satellite if I just sold one of them? Oh, I got 8,943. Let's just sell all of them, how about? Excellent, we just made a good chunk of gold, 700,000. Piracy pays. All right, guys, it looks like we found a pretty, pretty lucrative trade deal. I'm buying body armor from this trading post and I'm bringing it to another military outpost. So I can see here that the trading post in this sector is selling it for 55,000 each. The military outpost is buying it for 104,000 each. So that is very, 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 very profitable. Making uh, the maximum use of my cargo space. So it's, it's a bit too easy but I'm going to get a couple million credits from this. Let's just grab some of this body armor. I'm always paranoid. Like, how, how much body armor could I actually buy? They have 1,000 body armor. There's no, I can afford 70 of them, so I can spend my entire wealth to buy 70. Or, no, they got 6,000 body armor. I can fit 1,000 on my ship. So if I buy 70... Eee, that is all of my wealth. I have 5,000 credits left to my name. So I better hope that military outpost is still there when I get back. That's the one, right? Yeah. Hopefully it's not like bad body armor and I, I've lost all my money. Well, that can't happen. Okay, where is this military outpost? Hello, where are you? Oh, is that's it right there. Excellent. You know, I think it is a possibility for all the uh, docking bays to be destroyed, and then I would be SOL, as they say. Okay, so what we got... We got 70 body armor to sell. So it says 15 of 200, we hit the sell button. Now they're at 85 of 200, so there's a maximum amount that I can make from this. Interesting. So we should probably do... Do this, uh... I guess one more time, how about? Okay, let's see how much body armor we can get this time. I don't think... We, we don't want to get more than 115, though. We can buy 100? Because they have... The, the, the military station has... 85 out of 200. So I guess we can buy 115 more. And then we... That should be good. So where is that military station again? 
that military outpost in the middle of nowhere. No gates connecting to it. Man, this is just a war-torn galaxy. Everywhere I go, there's just constant fighting between factions and aliens and pirates. It just never ends. I mean, these, these people must, must be just constantly producing ships and training crews and sending them to their deaths. It's just a state of constant warfare. In the far future, there is only war. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Sell these goods. We want to sell 115 body armors. Yes, we've made 11 million credits. We are 12 million credits. Apparently, they consumed some body armor, I guess. Okay, well, that is enough of the trading. So I got this really cool new salvaging turret that I'm going to try out. Let's check it out. Let's bring that Let's bring that up on the main screen here. Double Trinium Salvaging Tart, exceptional, plus 26% efficiency for a total of 37.2. Have you ever seen anything so amazing in your life? In your, in your short, pitiful life, have you ever seen anything so exceptional? Well, this is it right here. Oh my god, guys, this turret is amazing. It's so fast. You know, I think we need to do some more examination. So what, this this turret does a, it has a damage of 207 per second, whereas these turrets only have a pitiful 54 damage per second and 111 per second. So this turret is just better in every single way. This is amazing. Like, look how, look how quickly it's taking out that block. Like, I've tried salvaging before and it just goes so slowly, it's not even worth it going for those mundane blocks. Man, I gotta tell you, with the right turret, salvaging is so much more fun. Ho ho, look at all this. We've hit the mother load. Okay, so I've been salvaging for about a half hour now, and I've I have 118,000 trinium, and I got quite a few other turrets and other modules that I can't even keep track of it anymore because I have so many. So we're going to find a nice safe sector to hunker down in and we're going to do some ship construction. So I think, I don't know, kind of, um, I think I am going to go back to the uh, Asenov conglomerate space and maybe do some more exploration around here. Plus, I think we need to go here for the uh, enemy of my enemy quest. And that is all the time for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and next time we are going to basically expand out my ship. That'll be the topic for the entire next episode. So good luck with all your Avorion adventures and have a great day.